In this lesson, we're going to look at data types. First of all, what is a data type? A variable can store different types of data. For example, it could store text, it could store whole numbers, and it could store decimal numbers. When using Python, we call text a string or abbreviated as str. For example, when we did print speech marks, hello world speech marks, What's inside the speech marks is called a string. Whole numbers are, are produced using an integer or int. For example, age equals int, brackets, input, brackets, speech marks, how old are you, speech marks, bracket, bracket. In this case, uh, the int is telling the computer that the particular variable age is an integer. With decimal numbers, we use the word float, which is the same uh, actually in Python itself. So in this case, cost equals float, brackets, input, brackets, speech marks. What is the cost? Speech marks, bracket, bracket. In this case, what's happening is that it's asking the question, what is the cost? And the cost is a decimal number. Uh, for example, uh, 2.99 could be the cost. Finally, Boolean or B O L as is written in Python, is used when there are only two possible answers. For example, true or false. In this example, if x equals 10 and y was equals to equal 20, x greater than y would be false. Let's look at some examples. If we were to type x equals speech marks two speech mark and y equals speech marks two speech marks. If we ask the computer to display x plus y, in this case, what happens is it says 22 because as far as the computer is concerned, uh, because they're in speech marks, it's a string rather than actually integers. So it presents it as 22 rather than 4. Now let's try again, this time without the speech marks, x equals 2, y equals 2, and print x plus y and this time we get 4 because now the computer knows that x and y are both integers. To find out the data type of a variable if we type in for example x equals 2 and we type in type x it will let us know that the type of variable in this case is an integer. If we type in x equals speech marks 2 in this case, if we type in type x, it will tell us it's a string. Casting can be used to change the data type of a variable. For example, you can change uh, one variable from a string into an integer. Here is an example of casting. Pi starts off as a string and radius starts off as a string. Then we actually change the data type of pi to a float and we change the data type of radius to an integer. Finally, we use the print statement at the end there to find out what the circumference is. So if I press enter, it lets us know the circumference is 12.56. It treats the numbers as a decimal number and an integer.